Hello, I'm Oleg Tyshenko, and I'm here with Suresh Kanwar, partner at Deloitte. Suresh, last year we talked about how automation is redefining the workforce and culture. Over this year, artificial intelligence has become a key theme in the tech trends reports. But how close are we now to artificial intelligence becoming a reality? Well, for some companies, AI is absolute reality right now. And that's not just about the very particular, perhaps slightly narrow use cases we often see being pursued by those exploring cognitive technology for the first time. Redesign of core systems, processes, and business strategies around AI and its possibilities has really allowed the truly AI-fueled organizations to take off, as well as advances in cloud, open data, development in RPA and neural networks. These have all played a big part in helping AI to become more realistic. But what's been your experience of clients starting to embrace this technology? What I've seen is clients start with ideation and prototyping, exploring the business benefits and impact AI technology brings on architecture, IP rating model, and talent. They do recognize the importance of data and invest in data readiness to allow AI to drive meaning from ever larger data sets. We see examples of natural language processing being implemented in front office and data normalization and machine learning in middle and back office. While applying AI, the organization is able to increase productivity, gain customer and operational insights, reduce cost and operational risk, becoming an ai field organization. I agree. Companies of all shapes and sizes are recognizing these benefits and racing to develop the next leading platforms. The challenge is not knowing which system model will dominate in the future. Will it be the cloud giants building from scratch new AI as a service capabilities? or perhaps a package adjunct model where existing AI general purpose platforms are put into the cloud. The most innovative startups and boutique software shops offering typically more specialized solutions are seeing rapid growth also. Absolutely. And with this uncertainty and the rate at which AI technology is developing, it is crucial that these players take on board ethical considerations and principles. AI companies need to be very mindful of, for example, the risk of building human bias into models and ensuring there is a transparency in AI decision-making. That's not an easy feat, given the back blocks nature of deep learning neural networks. This concept of transparency or explainability has very much come into the spotlight in the last year in 2018 with the introduction of GDPR. The explainable AI movement is all about improving our ability to explain how a machine arrived at a particular decision so very relevant to those ethical concerns of accountability. As AI starts to form a real portion of these hybrid workforce models, organizations need to focus on data and data modeling algorithms. Training and testing data for the model has got to include a representative data set to mitigate any bias. Thank you, Suresh. This all supports the statement that to become a truly AI-fueled organization, AI must be an integral component of corporate strategy. In Deloitte, we work with our clients to help them to define the AI and automation vision. The lab focuses on technology impact, IP rating model, talent, and workforce, as well as a data-driven approach for AI. Focusing on the strategy and the roadmap helps the clients to assess the impact across the whole enterprise, as well as constantly changing market conditions.